Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to run EMT conduit over these annoying little obstructions like this. You see, this is a piece of half inch EMT right here. Uh, maybe someone ran it vertically up and down the wall and, and you're running your EMT this way and you got to jump over it. Okay, so this is a 15 degree, 30 degree, 15 degree, three point saddle bed. So I'm going to show you how to do this. You see these are, uh, this is a 22 and a half, 45, 22 and a half degree three point saddle bend. So they're both called three point saddle bends, but this one is easier to run your wire through because there's less angles. See, a 22 and a half, 45, 22, there's more resistance when you run your wire. There's less resistance with 15, 30, 15. And so there's no reason to, to use these bigger angles when you're going over a small obstacle. So let me show you how to do it. For our first measurement, we're gonna measure from the middle of this obstruction to where our conduit is gonna end in the fitting. We're gonna measure this way. It comes out to 25 inches on the nose, okay? So it's gonna be 25 inches from the end of our conduit to the middle of the obstruction. Now the shrinkage is 1 8 per inch of obstruction. So this is 5 8 of an inch right here. We're gonna to need to come out an inch to easily come over this obstruction. So our obstruction is 1 inch. So 1 8 per inch, we got 1 inch, so the, the shrink is 1 8 of an inch. So we got 25 inches to the middle of the obstruction and the shrink is gonna be an eighth. So our first mark is going to be at 25 and 1 8. So here I've made a mark at 25 and 1 8. So, and then I've got marks on either side and that's over here. Multiplier for 15 degrees. We use the first bend for a multiplier of a three point saddle bend. That's 15 degrees. So a multiplier for 15 degrees is 3.9. 3.9 times one inch is three and seven eighths inches. So I have measured three and seven eighths inches to either side of the middle mark. To make the three bends that are needed to make this three point saddle bend, I'm going to first use the notch for the middle bend. And this bend is going to be 30 degrees. On this particular bend, the hook of the bender can point either way, it doesn't matter. Here you see I have the middle mark on the notch. I'll bend the conduit to the 30 degree mark on the bender. Now while keeping the conduit in the bender, pull the conduit back to the first mark and twist the conduit 180 degrees. Sight down the conduit so the conduit is very straight with the other bend and this is so that you don't get a dog leg, which is our name for a crooked bend. These next two bends are going to be made on the arrow. This is the arrow right here. You see a triangular shape on there. That's your arrow. We're going to be aligning the lines with this arrow. And we're going to be bending them to 15 degrees. Now, look on the head here. So where's 15 degrees? <laughs> well, here's 10 and here's 22. And so 15 is going to be right about there. So you can either make a little mark on your bender or you can just estimate it uh, as 15. Uh, so this bend might be a little inaccurate, but I'll show you how to fix it uh, at the end of the band. You might need just a little bit of a tweak and it's very easy and quick to do. The other thing is that the hook of the bender is going to be facing the middle line on both of these 15 degree bends. We're going to be making these bends on the arrow. The hook faces the middle on both of them and we're going to be doing it to 15 degrees which is right about here. Here you can see I've got the arrow right on the line and the hook is facing the middle line. Now put your foot on the bottom of the handle for safety and bend the conduit 15 degrees. Now take the conduit out of the bender and flip it around. We're going to be bending the last 15 degree bend and put it back in the bender 
get it aligned nice and straight so, so that you don't get a dog leg. Now I'll check my bend with a level and I'm seeing a little daylight on the right hand side there. So let me show you how to fix this. Put it on the ground and just tweak it like that. That's it. Let's test it again. Oh, very nice. Right on. I cut the conduit with a bandsaw right here and I installed the conduit. So here we go. It, it goes right in this fitting right here, right on over here. And it jumps up over this uh, obstruction. It has a little bit of distance there in between. And here we go over to this fitting right here. Notice the middle mark on the conduit aligns with the middle of the obstruction. That's because I added on the shrink. You know, it was only an eighth of an inch, but it would make a difference. So you got to add on that shrink so that your middle mark, the middle of your bend, aligns with the middle of the obstruction. The marks you see on the conduit are made with grease pencil and they clean up very easily. I'll put links in my video description for the various tools that I used in the video. Thanks, I hope this video was helpful.